Um, I am Lizbeth Anirina Freire de Leon. Uh, I'm a sophomore at Tyloga High School, and here in ESL, I'm known as Liz Freire. I was in ESL from pre-K to second grade. Uh, my name is Juan Manuel Freire, but my friends call me Johnny. How long was I in ESL? Uh, I started in pre-K and I didn't finish it till third grade. So ESL, um, formerly known as English as a Second Language, which is now more of English for speakers of other languages, um, has a lot of variation in instruction, especially in Texas from my own experience. Mis hijos crecieron en un hogar donde solo hablamos español, es su primera lengua. Cuando ellos comenzaron la escuela, los pusieron en un programa que se llama ESL. Es una clase donde les enseñan inglés, que sería su segunda lengua. Para mi esposo y para mí fue una buena idea, ya que esto los ayudaría a aprender mejor el idioma y avanzar en sus clases escolares. Ambos han aprovechado muy bien estas clases, les funcionan bien y ayudan a su hermano pequeño para que esto le ayude en sus siguientes clases y sea mejor para él. My experience in ESL was not good. I wish that they treated everyone the same, as in, like, instead of pulling us out and putting them in a different classroom, they did it all in the same classroom with all the other kids. Like, let's say it's reading time. No, they took you out when y'all were outside playing at recess. My friends, or by when I came back, when you, so we had a set time when we went to ECL, and then when we came back, everybody just stared at you. They didn't understand. You know, they were four or five years old. They didn't understand why you were went away to a different teacher at, at, a, di at a specific time of the day. When you pull students from a class, everyone notices um, from kindergarten on. And so you are creating um, some level of segregation and separation. Um, and the best way to increase your language proficiency is to experience more language. Going into ESL, I was excited because I was going to learn, but then you went in there not knowing and you thought they were going to help you, but they didn't help you. They treated you as if you were dumb and that you couldn't be successful at all in your life because you were in ESL. If you were in that class, you were for sure going to get held back. Like it, 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 it didn't matter what grade, it was for sure you would get held back. I remember me and like some other, like three other friends got all got held back in the same grade and that was she was scared of. She, wanna get, she didn't want to get held back. The interesting thing when you go through extensive training for languages is that you learn best practices for languages are usually just best practices for instruction. My ESL teacher, she was, um, I was, we were reading a book to understand English and I couldn't say a word and she yelled at me. Uh, it was pretty bad. I went home crying that day. Um, what they need is not to be pulled out of class, but they need their history and math and English and science and elective teachers to understand how to change their instruction to make it more comprehensible. And I don't know a single teacher who's gotten really good at um, supporting language learners that didn't also realize that they were a better teacher in general. Um, and all of their students benefited no matter what category they might fit into. Estoy orgullosa de ellos porque han aprendido, han avanzado y pueden dominar bastante bien el, el inglés y el español. Para mi hijo mayor se va a graduar este año, es un senior, y seguirá sus clases de colegio. Mi hija está en el grado 10 y él le va mejor, tiene muy buenas calificaciones. Ya solo nos queda nuestro hijo pequeño con el que esperamos que siga funcionando este programa y sea mejor para él. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry. ESL stripped Mexican culture for me to make me fit in as an English speaker. I'm proud to be a Mexican and I'm proud of my culture. My parents have worked hard my whole life to help me live here the way they didn't over there in Mexico. And I'm really proud of that. They gave me a beautiful quinceañera. They gave me opportunities that they would have never had, and I'm very thankful for that. Um, I'm doing really good. I'm top of my class. Um, I'm in. I am in a lot of extracurricular activities. Uh, we made it. To, my team made it to state in Congress UIL. 
Um, I was drum major in band this year for um, as a sophomore, and it's usually either your junior year or senior year. Um, I'm in TMSEA. We've made it to state two years now. I'm in LD Debate, uh, Persuasive Speech. Well, ESL did not help with that. I think that the people like my brother who helped me learn English, those were the main part in which I could be as successful as I am today. I am extremely fortunate to have risen above my difficult start in elementary school and in ESL classes. Sadly, many of my classmates and other Spanish speakers were not as fortunate. We need a reform. We need teachers to have better training and resources to teach Spanish speakers. We need to view ESL students as equals. We need change. Echale ganas.